Zero Knowledge Proofs are the coolest kit on the block right now. Everyone is talking about them. But it's important to understand what ZKPs can do well and what they can't do. When it comes to privacy, they're a helpful tool for scaling, but they can't address by themselves all of our privacy needs. There are functional limitations in the kind of privacy promises that ZKPs can offer, and it's important to understand why that's the case. ZKPs make it possible for users to prove that they know something without revealing any details about it to others, to the public. For this to work, there has to be a prover or a tester and a verifier. Imagine that two friends, Alice and Jorge, find a cave. And the cave has two paths in and out that lead to the middle where there is a door. There's a keypad on the door that, if the right code is entered, will supposedly connect these two paths. And Jorge says he knows the code on the door and can follow the, the two paths, connect them all the way through going through the door. Alice is interested. She'd like to buy this code from him, but wants proof that he actually knows it. Jorge can't just tell her the code straight away to prove it, so they agree to a zero-knowledge exchange test. Alice will tell Jorge to enter the cave on one of the paths, either A side or B side, and if Jorge really does have the code to the door, he'll be able to exit on the other side. That's kind of a picture of this zero-knowledge problem that ZKPs are aimed to solve. And this is a powerful technology, which is why people are talking about it so much. It's proven useful for functions like uh, identifying users, checking their signatures. Zcash is a very popular protocol and token that leverages this technology and is constantly iterating on it. They offer really solid transactional privacy. Um, zero knowledge tech also helps with scalability, which you may have heard of in this regard. For example, uh, Ethereum L2s offering roll-up solutions, although ZKPs are also offered in layer one protocols and make for lightweight, highly scalable L1s. So that all is great, but what are the privacy limitations of zero-knowledge proofs, especially when there are a lot of big privacy claims that are sometimes made around them? Let's look at DeFi uh, as a primary use case here. To make DeFi private, a user needs to be able to trade with an entity like a DEX based on smart contracts, all while keeping their data private. And this isn't possible with ZKPs. Privacy breaks down for ZKPs when we move from transactions into the realm of secure computation with mul multiple parties. Basically, the reason for this is that ZKPs rely on a sequencer. If you can see your data, you can prove it. You can't prove similarities or differences with another person's data without violating their privacy, right? So how does this proof get made? And the answer is a sequencer, an offline entity that generates this proof over all participant data. But if a user needs to trust an off-chain centralized sequencer with their data, we are back to the basic problem of Web2, servers, uh, centralized entities, a uh, single point of, of failure there. And that's not privacy. There have also been theoretical concerns expressed more at an academic level about information leakage on the infrastructure layer for ZKPs. So uh, things like transaction size, other forms of metadata analysis, that could potentially reveal information about zero knowledge uh, transactions. So all that to say, ZKPs are great for keeping secrets locally in something like a transaction or a signature, peer-to-peer. -peer. They cannot keep that same promise of privacy on a global or network scale w within an entire application. Here's the TLDR, is that ZKPs are not a magical fix-all for privacy. That said, ZKPs still have value when combined with other blockchain privacy solutions. They grow stronger when combined with things like multi-party computation. Between ZKPs and something like MPC, you could build a fully private DEX or application. The internal state of a DEX could be encrypted, allowing you to perform computations over the data, update it without ever decrypting it. So the data always stays private. In this scenario, ZKP helps in its areas of strength, verifying user identity, signatures, lightweight transactions. So the key to this story uh, is that while ZKPs might currently be the most popular, fun, talked about kid on the block, there are lots of other kids on the block and every kid has something to offer. Or to use a different analogy of a toolbox, 
we need a toolbox with multiple tools in it. No single tool solves everything. Uh, every privacy solution has its trade-offs. There's no single one that addresses all of our privacy needs, every single use case, and has zero risk. No matter who might be trying to tell you that, that's simply not the reality of technology, and it's not the reality of privacy solutions. And that's why Secret 2.0 is building a constellation of privacy solutions for builders and users. It's Secret 2.0. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the short Secret 2.0 video to learn more about the basics and how that constellation is taking shape. If you want to take a deeper dive into the topic of different privacy solutions, read Beyond ZK Part 2 article from Guy Ziskind and contributors at Secret Labs for a more in-depth explanation there. Until next time, thanks for learning and stay secret. Mm -hmm.